Okay, so just a short tutorial about MIDI routing as um, there were a few questions about how and where to send your uh, MIDI after um, MIDI effect devices. So I just quickly wanted to show you a few options you got here already built in in Ableton. Very important is the in and out routing section here which you can turn on on the bottom right here. Okay, so um, let's uh, pick the trigger tune for that. So first um, let's create three MIDI tracks and we're gonna have two trigger tune devices on track two and on track three. There we go. Okay, so the first one uh, the first MIDI track is just gonna be our MIDI in. So we just want to have this as an input device and we're gonna have trigger tune uh, 1 as a receiving track number 1 and a second one as a receiving track number 2. So we need to make sure to arm those tracks or we can put the monitor to in, then we don't need to arm the track. So now we need to uh, set up the MIDI routing, right? So I'm going to use my computer keyboard here. Maybe you're going to use the external MIDI hardware here. So you need to put in your um, sound card or whatever you use to convert the MIDI uh, into the digital format here into the <coughs> Ableton Live. Okay, and now we gonna receive MIDI in here and we want the MIDI from set from the first receiving MIDI track to this channel here, so the MIDI in. So we select MIDI in here and from the second we gonna select MIDI in here as well. So now we are receiving MIDI in here and this is being routed to um, trigger tune 1 and trigger tune 2. And we can check this and see this by just putting in some MIDI and we will see here at the meters it is um, happening. Okay, so now what this means is you could actually put in um, MIDI in here and have two different trigger tune devices doing two different things. So for example, let's have a sequence of two here and let's have a sequence of uh, 16 here. So when I'm putting in, I will have, for example, a bass uh, going bom 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 bom. And on this one, we could have this for a melody maybe set in a different um, yeah, sequence here. So let us just quickly set this up to make this really obvious. So let's open up a bass and go into the instruments and just pick a bass sound here. Okay, let's take this and I drop it onto the first MIDI track and let's put in some values which are, or some notes which are um, for bass. Let's put in uh, C1, one further down, and a G1. So I have those two notes, notes now playing in here. And let's put in a melody or let's put in some chords maybe even. Let's put in a C, uh, a G, and maybe a C again and maybe an F and for this we need to use the fourth device so let's put in the velocity for the chords in a similar range and maybe pick the live duration here and maybe let's use a grand piano for this to make it easy and now let's use the notes to chords device um, which is in the max for life here notes to chords with scales yes 
and now obviously we need to set up this device for court so we have the pitches C G3 and F3 so let's put in a few chords here let's put this one to F3 and G3 and turn the other ones off and let's put in a few scales E, G let's put in in here so we will have major chords all the way up and Lydian okay so let us uh, check the second track here separately and now let's switch on the bass And you can hear the bass is always going from C1 to G1. Let's put in the live duration here as well. Let's put the volume a bit down. Okay, so this would be the first step of having one MIDI track for routing in and then have this set to the next one. Of course you can just select the computer keyboard in here but if you wanna go now more detailed, let's say you wanna have a second instrument being triggered by or being uh, having the chords played which are in the trigger tune one track here as well. So uh, let's create another MIDI track, let's find an instrument maybe some uh, swipe sounds or oh, let's have a quick look in the instrument section some pad sounds maybe let's have a look that's sounding quite nice I hope it's not a monophonic sound so let's put this in here and let's just check this on its own. Ah, nice. Okay, it's not monophonic. So now we want the chords which are being created here in the trigger tune device being played in the track 4. So we're gonna select the MIDI from trigger tune 2. Let's set this to in so we can switch off the arming button here. And now I'm getting the chords in the Psycho Tables track 4 here as well. Okay, so that's <laughs> sounding already quite nice. Okay, so let's say we want to get um, only the root notes which are being C3, G3, C3 and F3 without the chords into track number 4. We can do this with the internal routing in Ableton Live already. So uh, we have the second menu in here and uh, we have the pre-FX and post-FX but they will apply to both of the effects we got in here. So what we need to do is we need to group the trigger tune device here. So we can do this by command G or by right click and then go to the group menu here and let's name this chain trigger tune. And now if we open up the uh, second menu here, we will have a few more options here. So we could go to the MIDI effect rack trigger tune post effects. So right now we are getting the MIDI straight after this effect, this MIDI effect rack. So in between here, so just before we will get the notes to chords plug in here. So this would sound like this.
You can always check what kind of MIDI you are getting if you just create a MIDI clip. Now you have to uh, arm the track and then you will see in the piano roll what notes are being received. Just to show you the difference, let's change the MIDI in here to the trigger tune post effects and now we are getting the chords in here again so after the MIDI note 2 chords device okay so I hope you get the picture um, you can have a lot of routing options you have a lot of routing options here if you want to send MIDI out to an external device for example uh, you could create a new track and let's call it MIDI out to hardware and now you could actually uh, take one of those tracks um, maybe the trigger tune one which was baseline and just put in here trigger tune MIDI from trigger tune one post effects and then send this out to whatever driver or external MIDI port you got here. Okay, cool!